The Gone with the Wind mansion was located in Covington, Georgia. Twelve Oaks was used as the model for the Wilkes family home in the classic Oscar-winning movie. As the book was being adapted into the movie, author Margaret Mitchell reportedly saw a photo of the home in the Atlanta Journal and sent a clipping of it to the film's production team with a handwritten note saying, I like this for Ashley's home. You might also notice that this staircase doesn't entirely resemble the one in Gone with the Wind. However, the real Twelve Oaks staircase is quite grand. The house, which was built in 1836, is just as stunning as the Hollywood version. The mansion fell into disrepair over the years and at one point sat empty. The new owner Nicole Greer purchased it in 2011. In true Southern style, there are porches where visitors can sip sweet tea as well as large oak trees where one can rest under the shade. The home has 12 bedrooms and 12 and a half bathrooms. It's no wonder it was used as a bed and breakfast. Greer says she kept everything historically accurate, and she appears to have gone to great lengths to do so. Classic features such as hardwood floors, high ceilings, sparkly chandeliers and hand-carved fireplace mantles are mixed with modern touches. She replaced the broken window's old wavy glass and even had the gas coal sets in each fireplace built to resemble the original. All the appliances in the home is updated, like the chef's kitchen that have high-end fixtures. A row of arched windows provides ample light in the country-style kitchen. Fans of the film will also appreciate that the home includes for reproductions of Scarlett's, Vivian Lee, most iconic gowns from the film as well as two of Rhett's, Clark Gable, suits. According to the press release, over $2 million of renovations went into this mansion, which has been christened Twelve Oaks in honor of the Wilkes Mansion.
take a step back in time in the parlor room, which is adorned with all kinds of classic furniture. The dining room can seat 40 when additional tables are set up. There's quite a lot of room for guests. The four-poster bed, chandelier, morning bar, and antique furniture make sleeping and living in the master bedroom a delight. Catherine's mirror image, Grand Suite, is a very large room on the second floor on the front of the house with a great view overlooking the columns and garden on the front and side of the house. It wouldn't be a southern antebellum plantation without a ghost story, would it? Twelve Oaks is said to be haunted by a woman and her young son. The woman's son died on the property, and the two haunt the halls to this day. In the 1940s, following the production of the film Gone with the Wind, the mansion and the entire Covington area became a draw for tourists. <laughs> 